Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Family Bible School. I'm Pastor Stephanie. And I'm Teacher Kristen. We are so happy that you joined us today. That's right. As you can see, we are Ooh. at a new location. Ooh, where are we? Where are we? What could it be? I don't know. Ooh. But before we tell you more about it, let's start by singing some songs. We have some friends here to help us. Thank you to Aaliyah, Zach, and John. You might be sitting on your couch at home, but you might want to stand and join us in singing, Who's the King of the Jungle? Right. Who's the King of the Jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the King of the Sea? Wada, wada, wada. Who's the King of the Universe? The Jungle and the Sea, I tell you. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes! He's the King of me and you. He's the King of the Universe. The jungle and the sea. Who's the king of the desert? Grr. Who's the king of the trees? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Who's the king of the universe? The forest and the trees, I tell you. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes! He's the king of me and you. He's the king of the universe. The forest and the trees. Who's the king of the desert? Who's the king of the swamp? Jump! Who's the king of the universe? The desert and the swamp, I tell you. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes! He's the king of me and you. He's the king of the universe. The desert and the swamp. Who's the king of the backyard? Woo! Woo! Who's the king of the house? Meow! Who's the king of the universe? The backyard and the house, I'll tell you, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes! He's the king of me and you. He's the king of the universe. The backyard and the house. All right. Good Are one. you ready for I Just Want to Be a Sheep? All right. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a Pharisee. Pharisee? I don't want to be a Pharisee. Pharisee? No way, because they're not fair, you see. I don't want to be a Pharisee. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Now I don't want to be a hypocrite, hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite, this way. Cause they're not hip with it. I don't want to be a hypocrite, uh uh. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a Sadducee. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You're so sad. Sadducee. Because they're so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, today we are out here at 
VTech school, and it's an interesting school. It's not a normal high school. No, it's not. Kids come here not only to learn math and science and everything else, but also to learn about how to take care of animals. So, one of our church members, Erin, she teaches out here mm -hmm. at the school, and she got us permission to come out here and film, and her children are going to help us by yep. telling us about some of the animals. But before we go into the animal, mm -hmm. I was wondering, did you grow up with any pets? Well, I didn't grow up on a farm, <laughs> but I did have, um, we had a sweet little cocker spaniel named Ginger. She was very Aww. sweet. And then we had, I had cats, a couple of cats on and off. They were very sweet. You yeah, know, they were good. I really wanted a cat. You did? But you didn't I, have one? I didn't have oh. one. I wanted a horse too. That was like oh. my all time Every animal girl a wants horse, a horse, right? Yes. I wanted a horse. But yes. um, my mom, she was allergic to animals, so I wasn't able to have those. But to kind of make up for it, yes, they got me some hermit crabs. Oh, those cute little hermit crabs? Yeah, they live in the shell, and one of the okay. church members made this big cage, and they made it um, so that the crabs could like crawl and hang up from the top, and they were all different sizes and shapes, and it, it was cool, except it was kind of strange because sometimes you have to put like extra shells in there. Yeah because the crabs grow and so they will leave their home which is the little sh shell that they live in yes. and like scurry on and, and oh. get into another shell and they look really strange when they're not in their shell. I bet I've never really seen gross. a crab out of its shell. But it's, it's really cool you know you have to hold your hand flat and they crawl on there and... Did they ever pinch you? They didn't but my daughter, we got crabs one time for a vacation Bible school we were doing. Uh -huh. And so she ended up taking care of them. When she was little, she had it in her hand and it latched on like <gasps> really Oh no! <laughs> and we had to put her hand down in water in oh, order for, for the to crab release? to release. Oh. So they can bite. Oh. That's, that's the part of that story. They can bite, yeah. So you have this big habitat for these crabs. Mm -hmm. Would that be called a crabitat? Ooh, I'm just wondering. One. Yeah, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just wanted to see about your animals. We yes. want to know what do you do to take care of your pets? Mm -hmm. What kind of cool little tricks might they do? Ooh, I can't wait. Yes. So let's have a look and see what our friend sent us. What's your your pet's name? Your dog's name? Baby. Um, how old is she? Um, in dog year, she is 25. What do you love about your dog? I love that she always wants to play with me and she um, loves going on road trips. What does your dog eat? He eats dog food. What do you do to take, what special thing do you do to take care of your dog? Um, take her on walks every day. Does your dog know any tricks? Um, yes. What tricks does she know? She knows how to sit, beg, and she's working on that. This is my dog, Max, and um, she, he's a German Shepherd, and I really love him, and um... What's so special about him? He, What kind of things does he play? What does he do? He's using balls and he's really good at them. Super good. Catching them? Yeah, like catching them. He catches them really good. And what kind of things does your does Max eat? Does he, he eats doggy food? Eats doggy food? Does, do you give him treats sometimes? Yeah. Bones? Yeah. He likes he likes bones, huh? To non bones. Yeah. Do you love your dog? Yes, I really do. have a dog. Who brought you dog? Who brought you your dog? Um. Well, Auntie Domi gave you your dog. Did you pray for a dog for a long time? Yeah. How long do you think? A pray. couple of years. A couple of years and then God was able to bring your dog Max. He's the best dog.
Hi, Kiara. <laughs> Please introduce us to your pet. Well, this. Oh, come on. Come here. Come on. This is Kiki. She's a little bit cranky now, but this is Kiki and Kiki Kuali Pearson. And we got her from the pet store um, called PetSmart. Very cool. What do you love most about Kiki? Well, I love that she's fun. She's very fun and she's so funny. Like one time when I put her down on the floor, she runs around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> and also she's super cute. And she also makes a lot of loud, annoying noises. So. <laughs> what are the some special things that you do to take care of Kiki? Well, I have to clean her cage every like three days because she poops every two seconds. And also I have to give her lots of exercise and lots of fresh food. And I have to put vitamin C drops in her water also. So like a lot of diet, diet stuff so that she has energy. Anything special you're doing for uh, 4th of July weekend? Well, yes. Um, since they can get very stressed, very, ow, ow, very easily, um, she is going to be in my room and I'm going to close the blind so that she doesn't see anything of what's happening. And then I'm going to put some calming guinea pig music that actually works. <laughs> and, um, I'm also going to give her plenty of vegetables. Are you cranky? That's to calm her down for, from the fireworks? Yes. Okay. Because she gets really scared. All right. And so, what do you what do you do to feed her? What do you feed her? Anything special? Yes, I do feed her um, these little pebbles. If you can see over there, there's like the little um, guinea pig pebbles, and they eat a lot of that. And I give her some pebbles mixed with some some active chewing blocks. They're like little um, colored chewing chewing food and i also put that in i put sometimes a little bit of hay in there too and i put some fresh vegetables like cucumbers and carrots and sometimes lettuce so yeah very cool all right and i love my guinea pig so much she's the cutest thing ever if you want to get a pet i suggest you get a guinea pig say bye <laughs> Sierra! 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 All right, Brady, what do you love most about Sierra? Uh, well, her licking me. Brian, what do you love the most about Sierra? Brian, what do you love the most? What, yeah, what do you love the most about her? She's a me. Brian, what do you love the most about her? Bella, what do you love the most I about her? Petting like her. Okay, guys, again. Mom, Sierra wouldn't stay that long. That's okay. Sierra. What is her name again? Besides the goats, there are also a whole bunch of sheep out here. So, can you uh, tell us a little bit about these cute little sheep? Well, <laughs> <Here they go. laughs> the sheep take a lot to take care of, more so than goats in some respects, because the sheep um, require to be sheared. Uh, every, uh, really every spring, they kind of get sheared once a year to make sure that their fluffy wool co coat comes off for the summer because they get way too hot. Um, and it protects them in the wintertime from getting too cold. So it does take a lot to shear the sheep, um, especially if you have a big herd that takes a long time. That's so <laughs> they definitely take more care than just your goats. Okay, all right. So John what has something that? here that we're wondering if you could help explain what this is. What is that, John? Yeah. It's a sheep tail. So <laughs> they take the sheep tail and they band them so that the sheep tail will fall off, um, usually when they're very young, 
um, and that helps the sheep stay clean and they use them for show purposes as well. So it, it kind of serves a dual purpose. So they band the tail, it doesn't really hurt. Um, it just kind of it gets numb and then it falls off. Whoa! <laughs> they jump as they run. That's that is so, so cool. cool. So we see the sheep like running a lot here. Why? Why are they running uh, from our? Herd well, in there? they're they're kind of scared of Aaliyah and Jonathan hurting them, um, which they don't know Aaliyah and John very well. So they run away because you know sheep aren't that smart sometimes, and so they don't know the herdsmen. They don't know Zachary and Aaliyah and Jonathan, and so they kind of run away. But once you know the shepherd, once the sheep know the shepherd. They follow the shepherd and they they come to the shepherd very, very easily. Um, as, as we have here on campus, uh, the goats that are being raised and sheep that are being hand raised by students, um, they come very easily to their to their owner. So, Whoa. <laughs> That's a good show. so are are uh, are sheep? You said they weren't very smart all the time. Kind of reminds us of humans. We're right. not the smartest all the time either. Right? <laughs> are they are they kind of stubborn sometimes? Very stubborn. Oh dear. Very stubborn. Yes. Sometimes you're trying to get them to go in a certain way because we change pastures, we move them from pasture to pasture, and sometimes they don't want to go. But they usually all do move together. So if you can get one going in the right direction, you could get oh. the whole herd to go where you want them to go. Oh, that could be good or that could be bad. That's true. That's a good and a bad thing. I see. Do they get lost very easily? They can get separated from the herd. Uh -huh. And then they, they start wandering and we have to go catch them. Mm. That's why it's important for us to keep the gates closed. <laughs> you know, thinking about the shepherd, yes, and how these sheep are just kind of running away because they don't really know the shepherd. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of a story in the Bible called the Good Shepherd. And let's have a um, closer look. Yes, a closer look at this story. It's found in the Gospel of John. John chapter 10, 11 through 15. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. The worker who is paid to keep the sheep is different from the shepherd who owns them. So when the worker sees the wolf coming, he runs away and leaves the sheep alone. Then the wolf attacks the sheep and scatters them. The man runs away because he is only a paid worker. He does not really care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I give my life for the sheep. Thank you, Aaliyah, for reading our story to us. Yes, I just love that story about the Good Shepherd and how he cares for us. And it kind of reminds me of our pets. Mm -hmm. You know, why do we care for our pets so much? Well, we care about them because we love them. Well, why do we love them? Well, because they're ours, right? And that's kind of like the story when Aaliyah was reading about the Good Shepherd. Mm -hmm. He owns the sheep. We are his. And he loves nothing more than taking care of us. And to provide good things for us. But you know, it is important mm -hmm. to know a shepherd. Like we saw with the sheep <laughs> running away because they, they didn't know Aaliyah and Jonathan very well. Right. So they would run away. Well, we need to know our shepherd. And we do that by spending time with him and mm -hmm. getting to know him. That's right. And reading his word and spending time in prayer. Yep. So as you go through this week, make sure we take time together as a family, mm -hmm. even by yourself, to get to know our Good Shepherd. Because He loves us, He wants to spend time with us, and it is so important mm -hmm. that we know Him very well. I was also thinking, in that text, it was kind of really cool because He talks about like a thief coming in during the night, oh, right? Yes. And you know, the, the sheep scatter and the wolves are able to come in, right. and He was saying, you know, if there's just an owner there, some of the, and not an owner, but like just a, a regular worker, they'd run away and get scared. They don't right. really care. They don't have that ownership part. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to know all the problems that come, anything that comes our way, he's not gonna run away. He's gonna be there to keep us in the fold and take care of us and protect us. I am so glad that we have a loving God who wants nothing more than to take care of us. Let's pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your amazing love and your desire to take care of us, your desire to protect us and keep us safe. And I pray, Lord, that we would continue to keep close to you, that we would continue to know you more and more each day. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ooh, we ready? have something fun for you, a special family activity. Okay, we're ready. Are you guys ready for animal charades? Okay. We have some helpers. They're going to be helping us. What we're going to do is we're going to show you their action. Yes. And then you'll have a moment, or if you need longer, you can like pause. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll have like a few seconds to try and guess what it is. Yes. Okay. All, All right. right. Are you ready for your first one? Here okay. we go. What am I? A koala. <laughs> what am I? I'm a chicken. What am I? Chicken. What am I? A sloth. What am I? I'm a giraffe. All right, now it's your turn at home to play animal charades with your family and friends. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Now, if you want, you could take a picture of you doing your animal mm -hmm. charade and send it to us and we'll try and guess what it is. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we hope you have a great week and have fun playing with your pets this week. Bye, guys.